Kia ora and welcome. My name is Ellen Rose and this is the Creative Cure to Boredom. I've created this channel to share and explore some inventive approaches to art using everyday materials you can find in your own home. The hope is that it makes the current lockdown and isolation situation just a little bit more bearable. Today we're going to have a bit of an explore turning sugar cookies into sea creatures. So we're making some cookies and then we're going to use that like a sculpting dough. So I have my little helper here again today. His name's Bryce. He's my little nephew. So if you see some little hands in the frame, that is him. Hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to leave comments or suggestions below. Cheers. So to start with, we're mixing one cup of softened butter, two eggs, one cup of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla essence into a big mixing bowl. So we're stirring that around to get it into a nice, smooth paste. We used four cups of flour, one third of a cup of corn flour and a sprinkle of salt to make the cookies. We mixed it, but eventually it got a little bit harder to mix, so... I had to use my hands, didn't I? Yeah, mm. you had to use your hands. Mm. So you might want to use your hands so that it doesn't get all... And you can see I've put a little bit of flour to the side there so I can make sure that my hands stay nice and dry with the flour to stop things sticking. We wrapped it up in cling film and I put it in the fridge. We put it in the fridge for 10 minutes while we clean the table. So we have moved everything off the table and we've got our images out. I picked a octopus... A lobster and a shell to do as my sculptures. We chose some images and I and I chose a whale shark, stingray, and a puffer fish. So we've divvied up our dough into half, so we both have half of the dough. And within that we're gonna make three sculptures each. My puffer fish was falling apart a bit, so I figured out that it was best to roll it into a ball at first and then sculpt it. I was having trouble getting some of the octopus's legs to stick, so I did use a little bit of butter to help, and I just kept going back and smushing them back on. I used one of the skewers to make some details in his eyeballs as well. So I've used some scrunched up alfoil as the centre of my lobster and that keeps the outside thin enough that it'll bake. With the whale shark we decided to put some alfoil in the centre of it and we yeah. wrapped the dough around it. Yes, that was very tricky. Whilst also giving it some greater size and height to make him a little bit more 3D. When we were ready to put the cookies in the oven, we put them in a bit of butter and sprinkled some sugar on there. The recipe that we're using says to bake them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius for about 12 minutes. But because our sculptures are sculptures and they're not flat cookies, this may take a little bit longer. So we'll keep an eye on them until they go golden brown. I enjoyed the cookies and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> so this is the final result. We've got our octopus, the shell, the lobster, the whale shark, the puffer fish, and the stingray. So we've taken the alfoil out of them now. So that was out of the lobster and out of the whale shark. So these are purely cookies. So this was a really fun process to do. And the bonus is you can eat it at the end. I think there's some really interesting things that did happen within the baking process that we couldn't have necessarily planned. 
like with the octopus, you can see the end of his tentacles have gone quite dark. And that's just because it's thinner than the rest of it, so it cooked a little bit quicker. But that's given a really interesting texture to it too. And the sugar itself on top of it almost makes it look sandy or makes it look like it has an additional texture. Like the sugar on the top of the lobster almost looks like it's a texture in his shell because they have quite rough shells. So that's a really cool process to do. And we had a lot of fun doing it. We'd love to hear if you've tried a particular process using a same sort of thing. So if you've tried making a cookie sculpture yourself, uh, with our process we didn't use as much flour as it needed in the recipe because we felt like it was already going pretty tough. Possibly if we used a bit more flour and if we put it in the fridge for a little bit longer it wouldn't have puffed as much. But it didn't puff too much that you couldn't see the forms that we already started with. So I'd love to hear your comments and suggestions, so please remember to leave them below. My name's Ellen Rose. My little helper today has been Bryce. This is the Creative Cure to Boredom. Till next time, Nami Nui.